Hey guys, how you doing? Alright. Mid-game tips and tricks for Generation Zero. So, this video is intended for new players that have just finished the Archipelago. Okay, The Archipelago is this bad boy right here. Okay, see Archipelago region. Okay. So here's where you start, and you work your way down through here, and you go down here, and you futz around over there, and then you futz around through here, and then when you get here, to the safe house, right here at this this bottleneck along this ismith, ismith, okay, now you're entering into the farmlands region, and you're starting to, you're getting out into the, the larger, wider world of the game, the game world, this is part of the DLC. And so it's just some things I think that uh, might come in handy to know. Uh, some things to think about, some things to try to plan for when you enter the mid-game, or what I think of as the mid-game. To me, this is the the uh, the early game. And once you finish this, this is kind of the intro, the introduction. The newbie island, if you will. Okay, so number one. Alternate uh, vision add-ons. Okay, let me see here. What we got? What we got? What we got? Uh, do -do 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 -do. Right. Sha. Sure. Okay, so vision modules. I highly, 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 highly recommend the dual mode low light IR. Okay, the IR is really nice. Okay, and the reason it's really nice is because of one of the things that Generation Zero does very well. Generation Zero is almost a military sim in the way it handles uh, visually picking up and tracking targets. You really have to pick these guys out of the brush, and the cover, the landscape, and, and night. And all of these things are an actual challenge. I was really impressed uh, by how much effort it took. And so what I recommend is this right here. This is infrared. And you can see the doggos really stand out. It makes it, and this works through brush. Okay, so if they were if they were in those bushes, you'd see them. Now you need to have a quick a button that you can cycle through. Okay, and you can really see those gas tanks. You can you can find a lot of times the um, the dogs, the runners, they will engage you at relatively long distances. And you just can't find the damn things. This this vision module really helps you pick them out. Okay, so that's tip number one. Tip number two is I think you should begin to seriously consider a, a build. Okay, you need to think long and hard. Drink your coffee; it's good for you. Mm. Oh. You need to think long and hard about. Your preferred game, your preferred play style, how you're going to be playing the game. And I know that's hard to do when you're a new player and you don't know exactly how things are going to turn in the late game, right? And you want your build focused on late game, okay? A build, but if, if, you've, if you can come up with a build that makes you successful at early, mid, and late, so much the better, right? So... I say that because there are some channels out there and some videos like somebody says salvage salvage is absolute no no salvage is not an absolute must no absolute nonsense I'm doing just fine without salvage just fine okay let me show you because this will be easier than uh, I do not have salvage okay I have plenty of ammo. Okay? Plenty. Tons of ammo. Gobs of ammo. I am doing just fine for ammo. Okay? 2107.62. Okay? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let me show you in here. I mean, I am, I'm, I'm tripping over ammo. Okay? I can't give this stuff away. You don't need salvage. Okay? Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of ammo. Uh, Look, look, look at the 5.56. Now, I haven't been using much 5.56 because I haven't gotten a good AT5. But if I got an AT5, I'd definitely be using it. An AT5 Legendary. I'd, I'd like to give that a try. Okay, so 
certain skills that I think are an absolute... Ooh, I changed ammo types. That was a screw-up. Certain skills that I really like. Uh, lockpicking. Lockpicking, lockpicking, lockpicking. Get this. Get this quick. Okay. Uh, inquisitive mine. I don't think I would get level 2. But I would get level 1. Definitely. So my first skill points would be here, one here, one here. And then I'd change. I do want component damage. This is really good. This is big. You really want component damage. Okay. Uh, chemist. I like it. A lot of people don't, but I don't care because I want lockpicking. Lockpicking is an absolute must, and we'll get into that in a moment when I get into weapon suggestions. So I would go to Inquisitive Mind 1, grab lockpicking, and now you have to ask yourself, self, how do I want to play? What do I like? Okay? I'm here to tell you stealth is viable for everything except endgame. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just this game has a meta and you watch all the big channels and you watch all the good players and they're out in the open, they're running around, they're sprinting and that's because they give these they give the bigger baddies all these gas attacks and PBAOE attacks and they give them tons and tons of like the harvesters, they just sit there and crap out more and more robots. It's this this game is ad city. Okay? And if you're a stealth player, you're fucked. Okay? They're gonna spot you. They're gonna pop you out. Um, I don't... Th I'm gonna do a, a, a deep dive on stealth and see if I can find a way to make stealth viable for endgame. I haven't seen it. That doesn't mean it 100% isn't, but I don't think it is. But I'm gonna test it and make sure. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a scientist by training and by philosophy, and I want data. And what I've seen so far is that when it gets to endgame... Where you're, where you're farming the tier 4 rivals, you're trying to get the reaper, you know, it, it's just, it, they, the, the developers don't like stealth. They don't like stealth, they don't respect stealth. Stealth is not a strong pillar in this game, and I, I hate that because I love stealth, but it is what it is. So you might want to think about whether or not you want to go down this tree like I did. Now, the stamina recharge and the health. I will tell you one thing. I rolled up a low-level tune, and I could tell a huge difference trying to get around without my 2-2 invisibility. This really helps you get past enemies. You are slowed down significantly because the enemies can spot you. You, you really are 40% less visible, and I, I, I have a, a piece of clothing on that drops my visibility as well. This makes a big difference, so that's something to think about. Um, this line here is excellent absolutely excellent line to consider putting points into um, the stamina amount you, you know the running speed a lot of guys go 2-2 two, two running speed and I get it um, I would not argue with someone who wanted to put two here definitely want to go at least one point here carry capacity shit man you talk about quality of life this game you are starved for carry capacity even with mules uh, this is a really good one. And then Steady Feet is really nice. So this way you don't get locked down, knocked down by the... And the enemies, they knock you down right and left. Explosions knock you down. All this shit. And this really helps with that. It doesn't completely reduce it. It, it, it mitigates it. It doesn't it, it doesn't make it go away entirely. Now, combat. Okay, support. Support's crap. So, I mean, it's just, it's just bad. It's just really bad. Don't even... Don't even bother with this garbage. Um... Combat, yeah. You need to pick at least one combat line and drill down through it. Uh, I like Vanguard a lot. I like this a lot because you have no survivability in this game. You are so freaking squishy. And going down this tree, you hit armor, right? <clears throat> and three of three would give you 10% gas resistance. And I would, if I had the points, I would get three of three. But I don't have the points, so... Uh, but yeah, this is really nice. Uh, running gun, like I said, firing on the move is basically the meta. Okay, you're going to have to fire on the move some. Uh, I, I, I wish this game allowed for more methodical, more tactical play. And it doesn't. The robots spot you. They know exactly where you are. They rush right at you. It's frustrating. But... You know, let's 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 deal with what is and rather than what ought to be, right? 
this is a really good line too. Okay, aim speed. Yeah, you know the the the, the quicker you can get your ADS uh, rocking, you know, aim down sight, the better off you are. Hip shot accuracy. This is good. It's good. It's not great, but it's good. Uh, weapon recoil. Here's where you need to start. You need to think about what guns you like, what guns you don't like, and how you want to play. Okay? If you like the 44 Magnum, you're going to want two or two here. Okay? If you like the AK-47, you might want to think about two of two here because the AK kicks the most of all the of all the assault rifles. If you pref now, if you prefer the MP5. You might not need so much of this because it doesn't have a lot of kick. You know, if you're if you're walking around with a sniper rifle and a uh, <clears throat> see, I don't have it here. Um, if you're walking around with a sniper rifle and the AT4, well, the AT4 kicks a bit, but it doesn't. I like the um the the M16. The M16 has very little kick. The the M, the HP5 has very little kick. Uh, this thing has a lot of kick. Okay, the PVG-90, this, this sucker kicks, so you might want to think about uh, weapon recoil. I wish I had the points, you know, I would love two of two on what, you know, but I don't have the points. Weapon sway, if you're a big time sniper, okay, if you like, oh, I was dicking around with the baseball bat, <laughs> okay, if you like the sniper life, um, he misses his first shot, what a, what a douche nozzle. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, um the the sway and some of the especially on longer range shots, you know, you can see how this thing just loves to just meander around, you know. Um so you might want to think about popping that out of there. Uh and he ran off. Of course he ran off. Goddamn spaz. What the f How in the hell that missed? Eh, whatever. Whatever game, kiss my ass. That did not miss. Fucking game. Yeah, I'm max level. All right. So, those, are, those, there's the skills to think about. Those are the skills that, that I think are more important than others. Okay. Number tip number three. Don't sprint and try to snipe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here we are. Let's see, there's those robots over there, right? All right, so let's go. Wee, let's run around. Let's run around. Let's get our remember. Tip number one of the zombie apocalypse: cardio. <laughs> now watch. <laughs> You're breathing heavy, and the game actually models that. So don't sprint and try to snipe. Okay. All right. My next tip for your mid-game consideration. I'm gonna put a video up on a start, how to how to get a good start, and this is inspired by Tenebus Infinite's how to you know his favorite way to start. I've used some of his information. I've used some information from Reddit, from the forums, and I've come up with my own spin, my own take on what to do. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. What I would do if I came in right here, what would I do first? Now this is assuming that you've done all of the archipelago and you've got a few levels under you and you should go bippity boppity boopity boop and you have to have lock picking for this to work okay what I would do and this isn't easy I'm not saying it's easy but boy is it effective what I would do is I would go right I think it's there let me go let me show you do -do -do -do. of course I, I can fast travel you won't be able to fast travel you'll have to make the run Okay, it it ain't easy. There's machines everywhere. Um, you can you can try using the bike. Boy, the bike giveth and the bike taketh away. <laughs> okay, so if you know if you can get the bike to uh, to carry you all the way up here. No, it's not there. It's right there. Let me get that turn off. Let me get back to to uh, the normal visible spectrum. Do, 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 do. You want to go right? Shaw. Yeah. Now watch out. Sometimes there's there's a fair number of doggos. I have seen an entire pack of runners back here. So watch your ass. Okay. You will need lockpick for this to work. But I have I have done it on a level level four tune. I made the run. I ain't saying it's easy, but you come be bopping on down here. Is this it? No, no, no. It's not that. 
Which one is it? Is it this one? This is my freaking mine. I thought I ever had it. Is this there it is. Okay. This will be this door will be locked. You'll need lock picking. And in there is a purple five crown. AK-74. AI AK-76. AI-76. This is a fantastic weapon in the hands of a level 4 character. You will kick loads of ass with just this gun. Now, I know what you're going to say, but Dio, I don't have 7.62. No problem, my friend. I have figured it. I have figured this game out. This game reads the weapons you're carrying. And that's the ammo it it favors. Okay, you will still get some some 32 ACP if all you carry is the AI 76, but you will start getting 7.62 because when I when I first played this game, I wasn't getting any 7.62, I wasn't getting any 9 millimeter, I wasn't getting any 5.56, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then I began to realize the game reads what's because it, it got me thinking because uh, there was a there was an adrenaline nerf a while back, and people had a hard time for a while adrenaline drops were messed up and then people began to figure out how to get adrenaline to drop again and the trick was to not have adrenaline in your pack the game would read your inventory and go hey oh coffee have a sip on me mm. coffee the game reads the guns in your inventory so carry the gun you want ammo for so what I would do if I was a noob I would walk around with my atwad because this is a fantastic starter weapon. And you'll have ammo for this. But I would carry... Hell, if I hadn't made the run yet, I'd put that damn N60 in my pack. Put the Beretta in your pack, okay? Lug it around. You'll start to get 9mm. You'll start to get 7.62. Um, if you want 5.56, then carry that N16 that you get in, in the starter inventory, okay? Carry the gun you want ammo for. So that's the... That's where you get the AI-76, a purple. Now, let's go get a free legendary. And thank you, Tenebris, Tenebris Infinite, for this information. You want to come way up here. And again, I'm not saying this is super easy. Okay? What I would do is I would run here. Okay? I would try to pick up at least some of these safe houses if I could. Kind of keep an eye for them. Because that way if you die, you can just re respawn at those safe houses. But you need to come over here and get the legendary Glock. Okay? It's super easy to get. Uh, I have never seen machines around these police cars. I mean, you can literally just run to it. There's nothing to it. Let me get this Atwad out of my pack real quick here. Wait a minute, can I? Probably can't. Son of a bitch. See? My, my crafting resources are full. So I would just make the run. It's really easy. It's a really easy run. Uh, even with no stealth skills, it's not a problem. Okay. Even with nothing in sprint, nothing in stamina, it's a really easy run. Um, well, scr wait, 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 wait. Scratch that. It's a really easy run in here. <laughs> okay. All of this is a stone cold bitch. I'm not going to, especially the farmlands. Oh, my God. The farmlands are just crawling with machines. So, yeah, it's it's hard to do. But once you can get up into this region here, it does seem to... It opens up, and there doesn't seem to be as many... Uh, but it's worth it. It's well worth it, because what you're going to get is the legendary Glock. This is a Glock. I'm not calling it a clock. It's fucking stupid. It's not a fucking clock. I don't read... I don't tell time with it. Ridiculous. It's a goddamn Glock. Pay your licensing fee, motherfucker. So, anyway... Yeah, sub sub psychotic rant over. <laughs> there are things that bug me, and they and I will I will rant about them. I really will. I am the I am the king of rants. Oh my god, this game! I love and hate this game, but yeah, that'll that'll be in the review. Anyway, get your ass over here and get this Glock. This this pistol, this baseball bat. <laughs> Son of a bitch. This pistol is absolutely awesome. Okay? And this is from a guy that hates Glocks. Okay? I'm an ex I'm an ex-cop. I carried a I carried a gun for seven years in the city of Houston. 
Okay, I've been shot at multiple times. I've been in over 200 fights. I've worked dozens and dozens and dozens of, of murder scenes, shootings, stabbings, gang violence, you name it. Um, Glocks suck in real life. I fucking hate Glocks. They're 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 ballistic Tupperware. They're they're shit. In this game, fantastic weapon. Absolutely fantastic. And it's look at this. I mean, this is this is easy sneezy right here. Nothing to it, right? And it's sitting right there. It's just sitting there. Legendary Glock. Okay. As easy as you want. All right. So get the Glock. And then what you want to do. Now this one can be a little trickier right right here. You want to come over uh stop tracking. You want to come over right here. Okay? You want to go here to this radar station. Now, I would unlock this uh safe travel. This is the safe house. Okay? I would jog on over here, get this church. That's a really good safe house. And it also gives you the city. Okay, and what you need to be thinking about, and you need to understand how the world spawn works in terms of gear. Basically, this is going to be crappy stuff. This will be your mostly greens and blues all through these latitudes here, except for Himfiol. Himfiol is is top loot. This is really good, and then it's I think it's this region up in here. I don't. Th think I've ever gotten a legendary from a box in this region along these latitudes. I don't I don't know for sure, but you definitely get legendaries from world spawn. I mean, I'm I'm talking toolboxes, ammo crates, right? Okay, so this is where you want to come because Hagabuda and and Stenmira, see all these buildings, you just sneak through here. Okay, it doesn't matter if you can't handle the robots. Avoid the robots. Sneak around up there. Go through all those crates. Yes, it's time consuming. Yes, it might be a little, I don't know, laborious. Not fun. Whatever. I don't care. Okay? You do what you gotta do. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and you really need to start acquiring... Uh, some some legendary weapon mods, you know, legendary scopes, legendary silencers, legendary uh, magazine mods, and all that good stuff. And you will find them, at least some of them. Ah! I don't want to get in combat right now. Although this pistol, if you get close enough, it can chew him up. Okay, this is it's a good pistol. It's really good. Uh, I can I can I can mow down uh, Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix and lower dogs with this. Apocalypse dogs, they're, they're a mite bit tougher. Um, you know, I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't play with, with, with Apocalypse class machines. I don't, uh, I get the biggest, baddest thing in my backpack with the best ammo I can put in it when I'm messing with Apocalypse stuff because it just seems to be really nasty. Uh, I think, I think Apocalypse class stuff is the, uh, the most let me let me show you the Glock here. Let me just see if I can get up on this. Yeah, see he's just a military class hunter. If I can get some rear shots on him. Now I'm level thirty one. You know, I'm all leveled up and you know you don't want to try this shit when you're level four. As you can see, for this type of 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 uh Ah, I pissed him off. Oh, I missed. Don't, don't, don't do that. Well, hit what you're aiming at, though, dumb shit. Yeah. Okay. Do better than me. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> Learn to aim, noob. <laughs> Is that a Okay, so anyway, come on over here. Uh, do, 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 do. I can't get up there. Can I? Can I mountain goat this? I can. Okay, mountain goating. Hey, mountain goating from uh, from Skyrim. Sprint, and then jump. Sprint, jump. Sprint, jump, and you're up. Okay, mountain goating. Not another tip. So we're gonna jog on over yonder, and we're gonna get a purple 
HP 5. Fantastic weapon. I absolutely love this weapon. It is so sneaky. It is so silent. The, the machines are an, a, absolutely confused. When you have stealth and some stealth gear on with your on your clothing, and a good silencer on the um, on the uh, HP5, they don't have a clue where you are. It is and with the with the um, the Beretta, in my opinion, the Beretta is more silent than the Glock. But the Glock is better for killing things. It, it, it's just a little better at killing stuff than the Beretta. Uh, but the Beretta is more silent. Um, but again, like I said, I think. The, the the stealth game is it's it's nerfed for end game content because eventually what you're going to be doing is farming uh, tier four rivals and for tier four rivals they're gonna they're gonna knock you out of stealth quick right I mean you, you saw how long my I mean I you know I got in a better position on him and if I'd been using a real gun he would have been dead you know but this the, the the Glock will save you a lot of ammo for your main weapons, for your primary weapons. And so you want to come bebopping over here. Alright. And I don't know why I haven't got this collectible. What's wrong with me? Okay, so come on up in here. Alright. Oh. Why did I run here? You dumb shit. I could have fast traveled over here, you idiot. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Senility's a bitch. <sighs> oh my god. How did I not... Well... Oh. Well, it doesn't... Is this not unlocked? What in the world? What's going on here? I mean, this is a safe house. Right? Mesa confused. Anyway... Run over here. I don't know why I can't fast travel here. And it's sitting right there. Okay? There's some ticks in here. No big deal. Okay? Yeah. Get get the HP5. This thing is beastly. I love this weapon. Absolutely love it. It is so stealthy. It is so quiet. And it is so... Look, look, look at that hip fire. Look at that hip fire accuracy. Okay. Zoom in. Look at that. It it, it absolutely shreds dogs. Uh, and it, it, it takes out hunters great. Now, tanks. I wouldn't use this against tanks. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> you know, you're gonna you're gonna burn through an absolute crap ton of nine millimeter. If you're gonna use one of these submachine guns, you're gonna wanna get the nine millimeter ammo. Okay, it's gonna be really hard to keep yourself in nine mil uh, without without that crafting recipe. Uh, yeah, I know. I I just said you don't need um, the uh, the uh, the ammo skill thingy dingy. What's it called? Salvage. Okay. I guess if you didn't want to craft your ammo, you insisted on looting it, and you wanted to use either the capist or the uh, the MP5, you might want to think about salvage, but quite frankly, you're being hard-headed. You know, I think I think it's a stupid choice um, because ammo is so easy to make. I don't I don't understand why you would do that, and it doesn't cost you any skill points to craft ammo. And like I said, I am look at this. You know, I've got full backpack unlock at 96. I am dying for pack space here, man, and I I can't pick shit up because of um, all my, my, my mules are all full, you know? So, yeah, yeah. Okay, so get the MP5. Now, the next thing we need to talk about is the big mid-game. So, previously I said don't kill rivals. Now you want to start leveling up your rivals, and you want to start leveling up, you want to start working on region score, okay? So you'll notice when I highlight over a region, Archipelago, it has a level, Right? Okay. And then the... And here's a, here's a rival, because I've killed most of these rivals. Okay? Rivals spawn as you do stuff in that region. Run quests, kill enemies, that kind of thing. Killing rivals knocks off region score. Okay? 
So what you're trying to do is level up the region, right? And then kill the rivals because the rivals have the experimental weapons. Now there's only one experimental weapon per weapon type, weapon class, okay? So we can uh, let me show you. I don't have them all. I haven't I haven't found the Glock. I think I've got some on my alts. So I've got the KVM. So that's that's your light machine gun experimental. KVM is well flawed in my opinion. It's fantastic in ways and it's not fantastic in other ways. Then here's the Capist. The Capist is absolutely fantastic as long as you're okay with a noisy weapon that eats ammo like crack. I mean, it just burns through the ammo because it's it, it's secondary. All experimental weapons have a secondary effect that raises them above and beyond a normal legendary. Okay? And then you have the experimental AG4. The experimental AG4 is interesting, but it has a burn effect, and I think the burn effect only affects exposed components. So, uh, you know, it's it, it's it's nice, but it's not that great. This thing is a beast. It's it's a double fire. It's a double fire rocket launcher. It's a fucking beast. Okay, and then the experimental PVG is the best weapon in the game. That's that's all there is to it. It's number one. This is this is your god mode gun right here. This 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 gun is just and you'll notice it's not silenced. You can't silence it. Like I said, the devs don't like stealth. They can say they can say whatever they want. We truthfully support the stealth pillar. Blah, blah. No, you don't. No, you don't. Just get the fuck out of here with that, okay? You can double speak all you want. No. No. You prefer out in the open, run and gun, go loud. And this this gun is a is a piece of data that supports that conclusion because you I mean, there's no option to put a fucking silencer on this thing. Okay? None. And you can silence 50 caliber sniper rifles. It doesn't do a lot, but you can do it. You can put a sound suppressor on this beast, okay? And it will lower the the um, the weapon report, the weapon sound of, of firing. It won't make it, you know, you know, little, you know, no, no, it's not going to do that. But but it will reduce how much how much sound this thing makes. And there's there isn't even a fucking silencer in the game for this. So don't tell me they fully support stealth when you can't silence the best weapon in the game, because this weapon is a beast. Okay, it has extra penetrating. Uh, it, it, it has an extra penetra penetrative effect, and you can hit multiple components with this bad boy if you're good. I can't, but you can. <laughs> okay. Uh, the ammo is rare, but ammo crafting fixes that. Um, I have plenty of uh, of, of 50 BMG. Um, so, you know, this is the best weapon in the game. Okay, so understand the rival system. You need to start leveling up your rivals. Don't kill them until you're level 25 okay you need to be level 25 experimental weapons won't drop what's he doing is he coming after me they do that it's so annoying um yeah get to level 25 before you start farming rivals there's there's no point in killing rivals until you're 25 in my opinion uh you're well i think you can get the recipes okay the next tip for mid game is you need to go out and police up, farm up, find whatever all of your or a lot of your crafting recipes. The they're lists all over the internet on where to find these things, okay? So you got bullet resistance and you got camouflage and fire resistance and all this good stuff. Get your blues and your greens. Go and get it, you know, get at least the big ones, the bullet resist, the camo, um, the sneaky, um, the blast resistant. I don't think fireproof is that good. Except I think I think the Reaper does fire. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't spawned the Reaper yet. I haven't done that. So yeah, go and get all your recipes. Okay, it's it's 
It's laborious, I'm not going to lie. Get the grays and the greens. The blues, purples, and legendaries drop off higher level opponents. Okay? I think the legendaries only drop off the big dogs. I think, but I'm not sure on that one. Uh, or it might it, it might be your percent percentile chance to get them to drop gets better with the like level four rivals, Phoenix and Apocalypse class tanks and harvesters. Uh, so yeah, do that. Um, you're gonna have to figure out the crafting system with respect to crafting resources, and I've been trying to balance. Uh, getting the right mix here in terms of because like plastic is what I consider a bulk material whereas lead is a more specialized of course uranium is extremely specialized There's oh, this is an end game material don't worry about that right now uh, but like copper copper is really important for armor piercing and some explosives I haven't seen titanium come into play a lot. Um, and like steel is a bulk. Explosives is kind of a kind of a mid-tier. Uh, you can see I have 348. So some of these bulk materials I've moved off onto mules. So you're going to want to kind of get a feel for what you need in terms of mainly bullets. Uh, crafting crafting um, clothing add-ons hasn't been that demanding. But with the bullets, you know, I've gotten a few of the the end game stuff here, and you can see we start to put a put a bit of a dent into aluminum and of course uranium. And this this is just a hundred. Now this is 0.27. This is 270. So you know this is a sniper rifle um, for mid game. In terms of weapon selection for mid game, what I was using mostly uh, was the the AK. Uh, I, I would rely mostly on the AK and the MP5. Then I would, and I like the Alg Studer, the Elk Stomper. Uh, this, this, this as a mid-game sniper rifle. Uh, the, the the good old Alg Studer is just fantastic. You can one-shot dogs right and left. Okay, uh, the Mauser. You know, the the Mauser does a great job as well, but the the Alg Studer hits. A, I think it hits a little harder. Um, I don't think either one's more accurate than the other, but I'm not sure on that one. Uh, I, I I carried this gun for a long time until I got my my PVG90 experimental, and then I switched over because the PVG90 is the best gun in the game. Period. Hands down. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and uh, you know, in terms of pistol. You know, use that legendary Glock. Um, there is a legendary Magnum. I'll show you where it is real quick. It's very easy to get. Very, very easy to get. Okay. It's right there. It's right there. It's sitting out in the open. You don't need lockpick or nothing. It's right there. Super easy. Okay. Um, and this is a good high-level uh, zone to come for... Um, <clears throat> for gear and drops and stuff, okay? Really, 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 really good area, okay? So, yeah, I think that's just about it. Uh, mm, let's see here. If I can think of anything else. No, because a lot of the things I'm thinking of I would consider to be late game tips, and that'll, that'll be a different video. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. I think that's about it that I have for mid-game. Um, I hope you enjoy the content. I hope you're enjoying the game. It is a good game. Um, not a great game, but it's a good game. Like I said, that's that's a discussion for the review. And um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends if you like it. If you don't like it, you want to take that 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 hate and internalize it and lock it deep down inside of you and not discuss it with anybody. And if you like the if you like the video, tell people about it cuz I have a little channel and I can't get noticed without likes and shares and comments. Nice comments, don't be a dick. Okay? Be nice. If you're a dick, I'll delete your comment. 
because it's my channel and my way or the highway, pal. Anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one.